Hey, how you doing? My name is Chris. Welcome to my little hole in the wall I call my shop. <laughs> Make the first cut. Uh, Summer's Woodworking's third annual Birdhouse Challenge Contest is underway, and I decided I ought to kick myself in the butt and get involved. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you remember last year's uh, challenge, there was a whole bunch of birdhouses that were made in this thing last year that were actually really, really cool. Jerry Brown, I believe, won the contest. Um, but uh, Izzy Swan made a birdhouse that is was gorgeous, absolutely impressive. And uh, the reason why I bring that up is because the, the, the birdhouse that Izzy Swan made last year... Yeah, mine's going to be nothing like it. <laughs> it's going to be... I had three criteria I wanted to make sure I did uh, in this uh, birdhouse challenge. And it was, A, I wanted it to be uh, simple enough so that anybody who has a shop similar to mine uh, could make one just like it if they, if they chose to do so. It had, you know, could be simple enough. Um, two, it had to be a, a one-day build that I could get done like in a single day so that somebody who wants to do something like what I plan on doing can do the same thing in a single day. And third, I wanted it to resemble something that the birds might actually use. I know, go figure, right? Um, which meant that I had to be very natural looking. Um, so, with those three criteria in mind, I had an idea. Here's what it was.
All right, so there you go. Um, simple enough, if uh, you feel safe doing it. The uh, Finished it in a day. Looks like something a bird might actually live in, um, and I hope they do. My little feather, feathered friends out back, uh, I'll put this in the crotch of a tree somewhere, uh, maybe, or, you know, this, I don't know. I might put a pole on it, or I might even uh, take this and, you know, attach it to the back and then screw this into a tree and hang it that way. I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided on it yet, but it is definitely going to get put out in my yard this coming uh, weekend. And, uh... Yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. I think it's fine. I don't expect it to win any great prizes, or I don't expect actually expect it to win anything, because it's just too simple, too easy, and it was done in an afternoon. But um, if you like it, uh, I just showed you how to do it. So uh, I want to say thank you to Brian at Summers Woodworking for putting on the challenge again this year. Brian, thanks. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to th uh, thank the uh, sponsors that got involved with it, too. So thumbs up to you guys. And... Uh, Wish all the guys that actually entered this contest uh, good luck, and if you have the opportunity, check out their videos as well, okay? And uh, finally, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to see how I did this. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, I'm out of here. You guys have a good one, all right? I'll talk to you later. Get out in your shops. Make that first cut. Get something done, all right? I'll talk to you later. <laughs>